practice prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper, and in this video we're talking about the Day 8 episode of Practice Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and topics brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of what's happening next week on the series. But before any of that, if you haven't seen the Day 8 episode, uh, there's a link somewhere around here, you can click on it so you know what we're talking about before we talk about it. Oh, wait a moment. Okay, we'll pop right in, but before we get to the discussion points, I want to thank one person who's made a contribution to the series over the past couple weeks. That's Ken, my man Ken. Thank you very much. I know a lot of people are new to this series. A lot of people came in around the, the Day 7 episode. Uh, and if you're new, you may not know that the only reason I'm able to do this series is by the generous contributions of people like Ken and ju others just like yourself uh, through Patreon that have been uh, making you know small contributions, or large contributions, but many as, as small as a dollar, just to keep the thing rolling. At the moment, we are at 77 percent funding so that would make March the first month so far that we would just be releasing one episode. Um, I would be willing to release a second episode on the third weekend of March so you don't have to wait all the way until April to find out the, the cliffhanger conclusion to this one. Uh, if we could maybe get to 85 percent funding, so we're at 77 right now, if we can get to 85 I'll call it 100 percent, I'll release a second episode for this month as we sort of step closer to 100 percent funding to keep things going. So many people have thanked me personally for putting together this series and yeah it's a lot of work on my part, a lot of fun but a lot of work. Uh, but the real people that deserve the credit on are all the, the Patreon com contributors, PayPal contributors. I, there's even uh, been some uh, Bitcoin <laughs> contributors who have been making it, uh, you know, keeping this whole thing going. And, uh, you know, they're the ones that have made it possible for me to even do this series. So thank you guys all very much for keeping that going. So enough on that. Yep. Cost money to make this stuff. Takes time to make this stuff. Let's talk about the discussion points. In this episode, the two big things I wanted to put in were one, the idea of sleep deprivation and, uh, you know, burning the candles at both ends and what that has, you know, how that impacts people. And the other one was the idea of security of your location. Now let's talk about sleep deprivation first. Uh, I mean, there's really two main ways of addressing that. One is just getting enough sleep. Uh, that's probably the, the preferred one, if that's, if that's possible. And the second is pharmaceutical, you know, caffeine, or, you know, uh, uh, stain, you know, the pills that kind of, you know, keep you awake, not like illegal stuff necessarily. I didn't even mean to say necessarily. I mean, not illegal stuff. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, uh, you know, just old uh, drug stores and things like that. Things that, you know, keep you alert for longer. Obviously, the pharmaceutical route has, you, that can be used for a certain amount of time, but it's just going to, you know, eat you up over time. You know, the monster drinks, all that kind of stuff. Um, and getting enough sleep sometimes is difficult. So what is your plan if you're in a situation where maybe you don't have a large enough group, shifts are longer than maybe they should be? What is your plan for that? Do you have a plan for that? Because uh, not getting enough sleep, you know... It, in theory, it's kind of like, you know, the army says, I'll sleep when I'm dead. But, you know, you do that too long and, you know, naval vessels start crashing into shipping, uh, you know, uh, fishing boats and stuff. I don't mean to laugh. People die when that happens. But, you know, I, I, that only gets you so far. You really have to have a plan for this that isn't just, you know, sleep is for the weak, you know, because our bodies are evolved to need to need sleep. So what is your plan for that? And, you know, do you even have one? Please leave it in the comments below. And if you don't have a plan, check the comments below because a lot of people always have great ideas that they share on these, uh, these comment boards. Thank you guys for doing that. The second topic I wanted to bring up in this is the idea of security around your location. Now, I think for most people, we don't want to live in the kind of place that is necessarily ideal in a without rule of law situation. Uh, you know, we don't want to live in a bunker. We don't want to live, you know, millions of miles from anywhere. We want to live in a place that's kind of nice when, you know, the shit isn't hitting the fan. Sorry, Cindy. Um, and, uh, and that creates kind of an issue when, you know, or if, there is a without rule law situation. Yeah, I, actually, we can say when, because those happen all the time. You know, when there's hurricanes and things like that, there's looting. You know, so the, the, the things that make a great location to live in aren't necessarily always the best things for, you know, without rule of law situations. I know for my personal place, I have a great place for homesteading. Uh, there's a lot of space. I've got a lot of woods that I can get firewood from. I've got a lot of open area for garden. You know, there's hills, it's just interesting. You know, there's fresh water, uh, fresh clean water, you know, that uh, you know, I can drop from the well and everything. It's great for homesteading, but in a without rule of law situation, this place kind of sucks because the terrain just, it would make it very difficult not to, uh, it would make it very difficult for me to know when people are coming up to the house, you know, unless there's constant patrols and lots of people watching, which can be difficult if you're a lone wolf, obviously. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't have really the best uh, response to that myself. I, in this episode, I talked about laying out some 
some trip wires and things like that. Uh, but that's kind of like, it's in a way, it's sort of a half measure. So what is, what is your sense about what you would do with your location? I know a lot of people would probably live in even worse places than I am from like a security standpoint in a without rule of law situation. Do you have contingencies, things that you've thought about? Would you just leave? Do you have the idea that you would just go to a retreat? Maybe that retreat's better, but is that retreat, does that retreat have its own, uh, you know, security concerns and issues that you'd have to address as well if it was a without rule of law situation? I think that's a big, big thing that a lot of people need to think about ahead of time so that you have some sort of a plan, even if it's not perfect, even if it's not 100%, having some sort of a plan to at least catch the, you know, the dolts. <laughs> They're not really good at sneaking up. You know, to have something that you could at least have some level of security. Obviously, if you know you're faced with an adversary that is just, you know, really has their act together, then you know, <laughs> there's only so much that you can do. You know, if you're kind of an average person that doesn't have an extensive amount of tactical training, but you can definitely make your situation better. What are some things that you guys are thinking about? Share them in the comments below, and I, you know, I would love to read them. I know a lot of the other viewers would love to read them as well. So, without any more blabbing about that, here's a clip from uh, what's happening next time on the uh, on the series. Hopefully, th this will be in two weeks, uh, the third uh, Friday in March. You know, if we can meet that 85% uh, funding goal. Uh, if not, it'll be the first Friday in April. It's going to be hard to choose a clip for this because it's kind of a cliffhanger at the end of this one. And uh, hmm, anything that I show is kind of going to kind of show who that was. Although I already released a video about the new actor coming in, so you kind of already know. Okay, I'll. I'll show you something fun, something fun from from next time. That's it. Thanks very much for watching. I found your address on the W-9 that I had on file for you, and um, I started heading this way. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.